This video is about empirical research. What is empirical research and what is the difference between qualitative and quantitative? We'll go over that in this video. Let's start with the first question. What does empirical mean? Empirical derives from the Greek empiria and means experience or observation. Empirical knowledge can therefore be seen as experimental knowledge. But what is the goal of empirical research? The goal of empirical research is to collect experience about reality and or to test experience about reality. The first area is usually the task of qualitative research. The second area is the task of quantitative research. We've already learned two things. First, that empirical research is about gaining or testing knowledge about reality. Second, that empirical research is divided into qualitative research and quantitative research. An example. Let's say you're interested in the topic, how do people in Vienna deal with increased inflation? This is an open question and you decide to address the issue qualitatively. To answer this question, you conduct interviews with people from Vienna. The results of the interviews show that older people in Vienna take more savings measures than younger people. That is the experience or observation you're making. From this, you could derive the following hypothesis. Older people in Vienna take more savings measures due to increased inflation than younger people. You can now test this hypothesis in a quantitative study. For this, you first think about how to make savings measures measurable. Then you create a standardized questionnaire in which you ask, among other things, the age of the respondents and the extent of savings measures. Now you can use a hypothesis test to test whether there is a significant positive correlation between age and the extent of savings measures. If that was the case, you would have an indication that in Vienna age has a positive influence on the extent of savings measures. But what exactly is the difference between qualitative and quantitative? In most cases, we want to use qualitative research to develop hypotheses and quantitative research to test hypotheses. Of course, a quantitative study can also be descriptive or exploratory. In this case, you would not test hypotheses. Since we want to develop hypotheses in qualitative research, it is of course not necessary to formulate hypotheses in advance. The goal is to come up with new ideas and develop new hypotheses based on collected data. Therefore, qualitative research is well suited for so far unknown fields of research. In quantitative research, on the other hand, we want to test hypotheses. So, of course, we need to formulate these hypotheses in advance. Since these hypotheses do not come out of nowhere, we must first conduct a thorough literature review. The goal is to test the hypotheses using collected data. Thus, quantitative research is suited for well-known research areas where literature already exists. Therefore, if a topic is still very unexplored and an understanding of the problem or theories need to be developed, then this is the task of qualitative research. Theories are formulated. The theories are then tested. This is the task of quantitative research. Theories are tested. What about data collection in qualitative and quantitative studies? In both cases, in qualitative and in quantitative research, you need data to address your research topic. However, the two areas differ in data collection and in the form in which they are obtained. In a qualitative study, for example, you use interviews or observations to get your data. 
The data you then receive is so-called soft data, such as text, images or videos. For example, if you have conducted interviews with people, recorded them and written them down, respectively transcribed them, then your data is available in text form. In a quantitative study, on the other hand, you use, for example, a survey or an experiment. The data you receive is so-called hard data or numerical data. The data obtained can then be analyzed using statistical methods, according to clear rules. If you have conducted an online survey, for example, you will receive your data in a structured form. Each row is a respondent, every column is a question, and each cell takes a unique value. Here, for example, you ask about gender, salary and age. The first person is, for example, female and has an income of 1500 euros. Therefore, in a qualitative study, the data is collected in an open format. In a quantitative study, the data is collected in a standardized format. Let's look at this with an example. For example, in your qualitative work, you ask the participants in your study the following question. When you think about your health, how would you describe it right now? You ask an open question and the answer from each respondent will most likely differ. One answer could be, hmm, I'm not doing well at all. My job stresses me out so much that I can't sleep at night and I'm sick all the time. How does it look in the quantitative case? In the quantitative case, you would standardize your questions. For example, you would ask, how healthy do you feel at the moment? Not healthy at all, rather not healthy, medium, rather healthy, very healthy. So you would provide specific answer options. What does the research process look like in a qualitative and a quantitative thesis? In qualitative research, we have a circular research process. The workflows are less structured and can be designed flexibly. Loops and returns to previous steps are possible. In quantitative research, we have a linear research process. There is a well-structured process with clearly defined steps. Loops and returns to previous steps are mostly not possible or not usual. There's also a difference between qualitative and quantitative research in the selection of research participants. In qualitative research, you tend to have a small sample. Few individuals are studied and the goal is to look very closely at each individual subject. In quantitative research, you tend to have a large sample. In a quantitative case, the goal is to make a generalized statement about the population. Furthermore, in a qualitative thesis, the sample size is open and it can be adjusted in the course of the study. In a quantitative thesis, the sample size is determined before the study starts. Now a brief summary of the differences between qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative versus quantitative. Hypotheses, qualitative, mostly developing hypotheses, and quantitative, mostly hypothesis testing. Data collection, qualitative, open with, for example, interviews or observations, and quantitative, standardized with, for example, surveys or experiments. Research process, qualitative, circular, and quantitative linear. And finally, sample size, rather small in qualitative case, rather large in the quantitative case. And now we continue with the video on quantitative research. Then we go through the entire research process of a quantitative thesis. Thanks for watching.